In this episode of Prep School, I'm gonna show you how to make an easy lunch, a simple appetizer, and a delicious dinner all using a single rotisserie chicken. Let's get started. So you'll find rotisserie chickens in lots of different sizes. For these three recipes, we need about five cups of chicken. So we'll pick this clean and we'll have five cups. But if you happen to have a rotisserie chicken that's a little smaller than this, go ahead and pick up two. And then if you have leftovers, you have leftovers for another meal down the road. So I'll start by chopping off these legs here. Might take a little maneuvering. We'll just pull away these wings. Rotisserie chickens get a bad rap because they tend to be a little higher in sodium than what you might typically make at home. And that's the nice part about making a chicken at home is you can control how much sodium goes into the rub, how much added fat you add to the chicken for cooking. So a really easy trick, if sodium is something you're worried about, we're gonna remove the skin. So let's first break down this breast and easily it pulls right off. And with it, so does the skin. Okay, so we have four cups of water in our medium Dutch oven here, and now we're gonna add in our pasta. So this recipe is unique in that you don't have to get the water boiling ahead of time. We add everything to the pot and then slowly bring to a rolling boil. So in goes our eight ounces of pasta. Today, I am using some whole wheat linguine, but you can really use whatever pasta you like. So we also need three quarters of a teaspoon of salt as well. And what's great about this recipe is that everything cooks in a single pot. We don't have to drain the pasta afterwards, which helps to cut down on a step. And it results in a really lovely creamy pasta without the need for cream. Okay, also two tablespoons of olive oil go in. And now we can turn the heat on to get this boiling. So we'll just wanna as this heats up, just push the pasta down. And then in about 12 minutes, the pasta will be cooked. All right, so you can hear and see that this pasta is now at a rolling boil. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit and stir every so often until it is all completely cooked and that water is mostly absorbed. And while that cooks away, we can continue to break down our chicken here. So we need about two cups for this soup. We can shred it really. Two forks work perfectly here. So I'm just gonna discard, you know, the bits that we don't need, the skin, these chicken wings don't have a ton of meat on them. And then you can of course pick this a little bit more if you're needing some extra meat. So for the apple and brie bites, we need some kind of uni uniform pieces of chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this chicken breast here for that. And I'll just cut it into, you know, maybe quarter inch thick pieces, just like that. So here we have some chicken for our apple and chicken brie bites. And now for the creamy chicken salad, obviously it doesn't have to look as beautiful. So we can use the drumsticks and the thighs so we can break these down and get about two more cups for that creamy chicken salad. So on top of using rotisserie chicken, these recipes happen to be only three ingredients. So if we're not counting basics like olive oil, salt and pepper, you're really only using just a few ingredients to create some pretty impressive meals. So I just have three little bowls here. In goes our chicken for our creamy chicken salad. We have our sliced chicken there for the brie bites. And then we have our shredded chicken here for our one pot pasta. Let's get going on these apple brie bites. So we have a beautiful apple here. We are just wanting to slice this into even slices. We're gonna top with this chicken here, cut up some yummy cheesy brie, and then pop it on a baking sheet and let it cook away. So my oven is preheating right now to 450 degrees. And while that happens, let's get to chopping. So my favorite way to chop apples for this recipe is to first cut around the core and then it makes it really easy to cut it into even slices. So there we go, core is all done. So we can put this away and we can just go ahead and slice. 
Now this is a really fun appetizer if you're having some friends over or if you just want a little something to enjoy in the afternoon. It's really easy, it's really delicious. We want the brie slices to be about the same size as the apple slices, so I'm gonna start by cutting my wheel here in half. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I love that. So then just some slices here. If your cheese is a little too soft, you can put it in the fridge or the freezer for just a few minutes to help it firm up again. I love the bite of like a nice tart apple, the creaminess of the cheese, kind of the savory, satisfying bit of protein from the chicken there. This is an all around winner and it's so easy to make. So I have my baking sheet here. I did line it with some tin foil and that just makes for easier cleanup. So I'm gonna go ahead and lie my apple slices down. Then we can start layering from there. Okay, and now on goes our brie slice. So on top of each apple here, lay down our slice of brie. Okay, and then last but not least, we're gonna to top with our chicken. So just a little slice on top. This sheet pan is all ready to go. We're gonna pop it in the oven and it's really quick. It only takes about one to two minutes until the cheese is melted and things are a little bit warm and then they're ready to eat. So now we can come back and finish the last few things for this pasta. If you look in the bowl here, you'll see that all the water is absorbed into the pasta. Alrighty, so we are all clean. Nice clean knife, nice clean cutting board. So now, while those apple and brie bites bake, we're gonna finish up this last little bit. We need a teaspoon of lemon zest. So always remember to get your lemon zest before you cut your lemon in half. And we just need the top yellow part. So once you start to see that white, move to a new section. Oh, it smells so lovely. Bright, fresh flavor. So that is probably plenty. Just need enough for about a teaspoon. Now that we have our lemon zested, we can go ahead and cut it in half. And we need two and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. So typically one whole lemon gives you two tablespoons, so we have an extra one in case. I'll just juice this. It's my handy juicer slash measuring cup here. That was a juicy lemon, so I've got enough from just that one. We've got our lemon zest, we've got our lemon juice, and then optional, you can chop up some fresh basil to add on top. So we're gonna head over to our pasta pot here and combine these last few ingredients. In go our two and a half tablespoons of bright lemon juice there, our teaspoon of lemon zest, about half of the basil. Beautiful. I'll give this a nice stir. And then last but not least, we need our chicken. And we're just gonna let this heat up a little bit, let that chicken get hot again. So while that heats up just a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and grab our apple and brie bites. Look at these. Whoa, those look delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and get a trivet and plate these up and we can dig in. All right, so it's gonna be warm. Wow, it's so cheesy. Cheers. Mmm, yum. That is just the best combination. Very cheesy. I'm not mad about it. Alrighty, so with that last bit of chicken, I went ahead and whipped up this really easy creamy chicken salad. The key here is using a flavored mayonnaise. If you want wanting to cut down ingredients even more, so like a lemon flavored mayonnaise, you can add in that flavor yourself. But mayonnaise, celery, and chicken is really all you need with a little salt and pepper. So this can be stored in the refrigerator for up to four days, which makes it great for meal prep. We made our delicious three ingredient apple, brie, and chicken bites. Those are delicious. And now it's time to plate up our one pot lemony chicken pasta and dig in. Try to plate it like they do in the restaurants, all fancy. That lemon zest really is what makes the difference here. It adds a ton of extra flavor. Now, of course, you could easily toss in some veggies in here too, if you wanted to add some broccoli or some spinach, or you can just serve it with a side salad, whatever is easiest. A little more basil if you like. I always like a little more basil. 
You can jazz it up even more with some fresh Parmesan. And now we can dig in. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. That lemon is so delicious in this recipe. So you just saw how easy it is to use a single rotisserie chicken to make three different recipes. Our creamy chicken salad, our three ingredient apple, brie, and chicken bites, and our one pot lemony chicken pasta. Using shortcut ingredients like a rotisserie chicken is a really great way to make healthy eating easy during the busy week. You can get more easy meal ideas like this on eatingwell.com. Thanks so much for watching, happy cooking, and I'll see you next time on Prep School.